it's been a while, but I'm excited to share with you a new bit of software I've been working on, which hopefully down the line will turn into a SaaS product. And this is gonna be the first episode in a devlog series. So I've been working on a bit of software that allows you to create screen recordings of your uh, desktop or app and turn that into a time-lapse automatically. I'm actually using a bit of software to achieve this currently, but I feel like it's no longer maintained, it's gone out of date, and they're not accepting any of the feature requests. Uh, mostly that I want to also record the webcam whilst I'm building, um, so that I have the screen recording, I can have my code that I'm working on, uh, webcam down in the corner, and then it just exports the time-lapse, and I don't have to mess around with it in uh, Premiere or any editing software, it just exports it directly. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me show you where I am so far. So this is what I've got for the B1 at the moment. I can capture the current display and my webcam and can change the different display types, uh, things like that. So if you have like your code open, it'll display. And then the idea is that you would hit record build out your project, start coding, uh, maybe for a few hours, and then hit export, and it'll export, export it uh, directly as a time-lapse. Uh, you'll be able to choose FPS, uh, how many frames to display, etc. Um, but for now, I broke it down into two simple steps, uh, display desktop and webcam images, uh, and then create stills from them. So capture, uh, every second or every millisecond um, a picture of the desktop and the webcam so I managed to do that at the moment uh, I started off by just trying to get the webcam working uh, and I actually have this leftover button here and there you go so yeah I was capturing the images um, so that's pretty cool so now I managed to capture the desktop and the webcam and store those images in an array and then export it as a video Took a few steps to get there, um, a different attempts, uh, just getting the images to an actual um, MOV file, um, and also cropping the webcam into the picture, positioning it, and cropping it into a circle. Uh, I'll leave a few of attempt, few of those attempts uh, on screen. Just uh, if you don't like flashing images or silly faces, uh, look away now. Basically, the webcam code I took from a blog post and um, this uh, and this uh, display capture with all the different windows and things like that. I can stop, start and even exclude this app, uh, which is pretty cool feature. Um, this was all taken from an Apo demo, uh, modified a bit to fit my use case. Um, but yeah, got the basic foundation of the app. So the current implementation has been pretty rough, pretty quick. Basically, I just push to an array, uh, a screenshot of the desktop and the webcam every second. And so you can imagine if these are images, they will get pushed into an array. And then when I hit stop time-lapse, it goes ahead and exports it all uh, to a video. Uh, so this way of doing it isn't very good. Eventually, if you've been recording, you know, for even just like a minute, that's 120 images. Uh, that's a lot of memory uh, backed up in just a single array. And also means that if something goes wrong, uh, you've lost your whole recording. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe keeping a limit of maybe like 10 uh, images and then writing them to the disk whilst you're still recording and then keep cycling like that do 10 write to disk 10 write to disk uh, see how that performs maybe there's a better way to do it um, because writing to disk uh, whilst you're recording is going to be quite intensive 
um, but it also is only a few uh, images or two images a second, maybe less than that, uh, because for a time lapse, um, you don't need to have you know mega high frame rate to make it look good. Um, so that's one problem to solve. The other is the UI and more the UX actually. Um, what I'm thinking of is, let me write it down maybe. So for the UX side, um, side of things, I was thinking I like these buttons up here. Um, I can't remember, I think they're just called menu icon buttons uh, because they're quick and easy. So I might uh, create one of these. And so you just choose your source for your uh, image, webcam, pick it and then hit record. And then it start recording and then you'd hit stop. And then this window would actually open and it would be with a random still um, of the webcam and the video at some point. And at this point, you would have maybe a panel on the left where you could choose the position of the webcam. Um, what else would there be? Position of the webcam, cropping, um, maybe some things like Screen Studio has where you can choose the background image, uh, the padding, things like that. Uh, that'd be pretty cool and then just hit export and it start exporting but this window would actually be yeah the export window not the sort of intro start window so yeah it's quite a lot to do there's the actual time lapse stuff to make logos website landing page uh, onboarding screen payment screen with lemon squeezy I think I'm gonna be doing it with um, so yeah, quite a few fun things to do over the coming month, hopefully this month, maybe next month a little bit, but hoping to get it, get it done fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, lots of things to do, but pretty cool stuff. If you like building devlog content, be sure to subscribe and also check out my shorts. I try and be funny about tech uh, in my shorts. So yeah, go check them out. And if you like them, hit the subscribe button. But if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.